Hello, my name is Max, I'm a guitar player and I love live looping. In this video I'd like to recreate D2X4 guitar looper pedal with the Loopy Pro on my iPad. You may ask, why do I need to recreate something that exists? <laughs> and what is Loopy Pro? Loopy Pro is an app for iPad or iPhone, it doesn't matter. It's extremely flexible looper, so it could be anything. In this case, I'd like it to be D2X4, but better. Let me do a little review and uh, then we go deeper with uh, this template. Original Dita X4 got two individual loops. In Loopy Pro you could have two, you could have five, ten, any amount of loops because it's digital. Dita X4 got on board uh, effects, but that effects it affects <laughs> only recorded loops. Here in Loopy Pro we could download any uh, extra, any third-party plugins from App Store. Uh, and apply it any way we'd like. It's very flexible. Here we got mixer, so it's it's crazy. But in Dita we got four built <laughs> built-in foot switches. Loopy Pro is just an app. You need MIDI controller. But it could be four foot switches or eight foot switches. Any amount of uh, foot switches, it's much more flexible. And you have to uh, have audio interface to connect your guitar to Loopy Pro. It could be any audio interface or it could be guitar processor. I use HX Stomp and it has three <laughs> built-in foot switches. Uh, I could connect a simple external two-button foot switch and I could connect any kind of MIDI controller. With the Loopy Pro I could have any amount of uh, foot switches, but let's start with uh, 4, the same as Dito X4. Let me show you how it works and then you could just uh, go on my website and uh, download it. Here we got uh, loop number 1, loop number 2 and the fix section. It's pretty straightforward. I use uh, my first foot switch to record the first loop. Then I could dub. Yeah, it's nice loop. Then I could use I could use a double tap to stop the loop. And um, that thing that I actually didn't like about Dito X4, because you couldn't stop um, the loop in the right moment. But here I could press it and then it uh, stops when um, it ends. So let me show you. Double tap. And when I hold it, I erase it. And if I'm really sorry that I have erased it, I could press undo button here. And it's here. Then I could record the second loop. And it's pretty easy too. And I could change volume for each loop, the same as uh, in DTX4. And I could use filter. Basically, it's just uh, EQ. Amazing and it works for each loop individually. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And the third for switch I assign just the same way as it works for original DTX4. It works for stop and start all 
loops and clear uh, them if you hold it. To be honest, that thing I really didn't like about uh, Dito X4, that I stuck with that for foot switches. And they work like they work and that's it. With Loopy Pro I could use MIDI foot controller with a lot of foot switches and assign each of them for any action here. For example, I get extra foot switch and I'd like um, to use it to stop first loop immediately without any um, quantization. Go here, MIDI learn, press that loop, quantization, loop stop quantization, none, that means that it stops immediately. And then go back, I just press my foot switch and it's assigned, perfect. All right, let's check it. Perfect, then I press again and it stops, and it starts on beat one. Very, very convenient. And if you use guitar processor like a Chick Stomp, Haton, Ampero, Boss, Headrush, any kind of processor, and um, you assign each of your foot switch to Control Loopy Pro, you may ask, okay, then how I may switch presets in my processor or my FX blocks? Uh, you could do it uh, from here, from Loopy Pro. Because Loopy Pro can receive MIDI comments and it can send MIDI comments. For example, I got a special page for that. Uh, this is my uh, presets for HX Stomp. I could change uh, process from here or I could have it on my main page. Just copy, go here and paste. So my looper and my presets for HX Stomp. Pretty flexible, arrange it how you like and make your own uh, template that's perfect for you. By the way, if you'd like to go deeper with Loopy Pro, you could find a link in the description for my learning course Quick Start in Loopy Pro for guitar players. Original DTX4 got decay button, uh, but it works for both uh, loops. Here we could have decay for each loop individually. How does it work? In this position it works just um, like normal loop. But in that position every new layer will erase previous layers, but slowly. And how slow you could adjust with this widget. Let me show you. Now it's just normal loop, but when I start our dubbing, hard to find a musical way to use it until you got the second loop, which is just normal. My first loop. My second loop. <laughs> I don't like it, but I could uh, put decay here and improvise with this loop endlessly.
Did you hear that tape stop? Let's talk about a fix section. DTX4 has uh, seven effects. Three of them is just the way you stop your loop. Tape stop, fade, just volume. And uh, once. Once is just when you play your loop once. And that's it. Double and half is just to change tempo and pitch in the Dito X4. But here in Loopy Pro you could choose uh, do you want to change just tempo or change just the pitch or both? In my template it worked the same, it changed tempo and pitch. Half. And double. Almost equal. And reverse is uh, pretty straightforward. Whoa, but it doesn't work. Why? Let me tell you why. I haven't found the creative way how to use reverse for both loops. But I think it's great just for, for example, for the second loop. So. But it's just my opinion and you could change it as you like. And there is hold effects and hold is just starter. Yeah, but there is no starter in Loopy Pro by default. But you could download any plugin from App Store and uh, you could use it here in Loopy Pro. For example, I use uh, beautiful, beautiful Koala FX plugin and it uh, has a lot of effects and starter too. But I don't use it here, I just made little widget. And here it works the same way. You just choose uh, tape, stop or fade or once or reverse or double or half or hold will be activated when you press uh, the fourth foot switch. You could just press this widget to activate, for example, double. And for the hold effects, you just change position of uh, this widget, like... Yeah, and when you use foot switch, you should press and hold. And let me show you one more thing about uh, starter. And here you could find starter for each track individually and for both of them. And uh, see how it works. I change it and when I release it, it goes back. So listen. So much fun. Okay, what else Dito X4 has? It has serial and sync modes. Sync mode is uh, the way it works now. So both loops uh, works uh, simultaneously. And serial is uh, first loop or second loop. So it's for like mm, part A and part B or verse and chorus.
create serial mode here, we should go there, clip settings, uh, play quantization, stop quantization, none, the phase lock loops off, and uh, then quantization off. And then you should go there and group them one loop at a time. Yeah, that's it. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all this. You just go to special page here and I'll put all that information here. Also, DTX4 has a MIDI clock. You need MIDI clock if you'd like to sync tempo between looper and delay or some sort of groove box or drum machine. The same for Loopy Pro. For example, my project has no tempo. All right. It says that it's 84. Where does Loopy Pro send this information about um, tempo? It sends to my guitar processor, so I don't need to tap the tempo, it's just there. Let me show you. I turn on my delay on HX ton. It's perfectly in sync. And I could even change uh, the tempo here. Uh, for example, let's try. And all the plugins that you use inside Loopy Pro will be perfectly synchronized to, for example, drum machine. I use DJ Sticks 2 as a drum machine. Yeah, and you could change tempo even from here. It was 96. You could make it, for example, slower. Or faster. There are two recording modes in Dito. Record, play, or dub, or record, or dub, play. It's very simple task, just go to menu, for example, for the first mm, loop by swiping uh, up and uh, here recording settings and here you could find after recording play, stop or overdub. I put the link for my template in description, so just go to my website and grab it. And I'll put the link for my learning course. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, like button and ask me any questions in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.